This video will cover the basic installation of Phil Wright's H-Series fuel transfer pumps onto a mobile fuel transfer tank. First, measure the depth of your tank to ensure the provided suction pipe will fit. The provided pipe can work in a tank with a depth of 20 to 34 and a half inches. If your tank is too tall or too short, you will need to cut the provided pipe or purchase an alternate pipe. We recommend a one inch NPT black iron pipe. Using either the included suction pipe or custom pipe, cut it one to two inches short of the bottom at a 45 degree angle to ensure a clear flow path into the suction pipe. Next, apply thread sealant to the threads. Then, thread the pipe into the inlet bung until it is hand tight. Using a pipe wrench, go one and a half to three turns past hand tight to ensure a fluid tight seal. Next, apply thread sealant to the inlet bung. Then thread the suction pipe and attached pump into the tank. Now attach the switch lever with the provided locking nut. Secure it in the off position. Then attach the nozzle boot to the switch plate using a provided bolt. The nozzle boot has two available position placements. Once the pump is secured on the tank, you can remove the junction box cover by loosening the two screws. Make sure all pumps are wired by a licensed electrician in compliance with all local, state, and national codes. On DC models, you will see two wires, one black, one red. If you are seeing two red wires, make sure to remove the junction box cover to reveal the full length of the wires. On AC models, you will see three wires, one black, one white, and one green. The green wire is attached to the internal ground screw. Once the wiring is set and the junction box cover is reattached, you can attach appropriate accessories to your pump. Thank you for watching this Fill Right installation video.